Hello everyone, this is Devil20, and welcome to episode 7 of Forgecraft. What's up everybody? Uh, hanging out, a couple people on the server. Soren and Wild are here, Wild's getting ready to stream. Soren's just chilling. Yeah. Morby's here with us too. How you doing, Morby? I'm doing just uh, being in the background. That's cool. That's cool. Sir Wild dropped by. I asked him for four emeralds, and I think he misinterpreted my request. He also told me to make it rain, you? so... <laughs> he brought me four blocks of emeralds. <laughs> 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 but I need some soul sand and some plastic sheets from Pneumatocraft Repressurized. Oh, I thought they were paper for a second. In-world solidifying molten plastic. And molten plastic is made... Oh, that looks like a long time. I totally want this. Purple plastic construction blocks. Okay, cool. Um, I do have an air compressor and a um, charging station as well as a wrench because I found a village home. So if that's useful to you, let me know. Maybe? I, I don't know how deep into Pneumaticraft. It doesn't look like we have to get super deep into Pneumaticraft to get what I want to get, which is a memory stick, which stores experience. I've been wanting to store experience, and that was kind of my goal. And then I just realized as I started recording here that that is a lofty goal. So I'm going to hold off. I think I'm just going to hold off yeah. at this point. The emeralds were the easy part. <laughs> right? I think they were. It, it looked to me like that was paper, and like that would have made sense, right? Like, paper! Ah! Stores experience. Because <laughs> they do look like paper, right? They a look bit, very much yeah, like paper. Kind of, they don't have the waviness of it. It's just flat. Right. If you're looking at them next to each other, you realize that there's a difference. But, like, at, at, at an initial glance, yeah, oh, it does not... <laughs> It does not necessarily look like it's not paper. I gotta I gotta look into what options we have for enchanting on the server, right? Like see what, what things we can do with enchanting. I don't think there's a lot. I though. do know we have industrial for going. We have yeah. pedestals, I think. And right. then there was rats. I, I, I was looking at all these things and I think rats got in the mix there. That could be the case. That they do have an enchanter. Rats will enchant any held item. Yeah. Oh. Rats will disenchant any enchant item. Cool. Ooh. Best of upgrade. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Rats will gift a random present every hour. Have you played oh, with it? Okay. Mine colonies apparently. No, I haven't played with rats. The only thing I've gotten with rats as far as Plague and Pied Pipers. Right. But this server, I'm going to play with it. Nice. Yeah, no, they're fun. They are cool. They do cool stuff. Now, in fairness, I played with them in 112 when they were relatively new. So, But I think they've gotten yeah. even better since. Um, I will say the plastic industrial for going, very, very slow to get. Oh, yeah. However, Rats has their own plastic, which works, which is like 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, nice. And I have like 32. <laughs> oh. I it's wonder okay. if it's or dictionary with the plastic for... It's probably not for Pneumaticraft. I would imagine not. I would definitely imagine not. It is not showing that it'll make the memory stick for me. So I think that plastic is different than... Yeah, it's definitely not or dictionary. But I mean, rats is just a funny sort of mod. Forge plastic I think it's and then hilarious. Pneumaticraft. So then basic will upgrade and then. What was the thing you were trying to make? Memory cell? Yeah, memory cell. Yeah, that one they just do Pneumaticraft plastic, not forge plastic. Interesting. I wonder if that's right. intended. I'm sure it is, because he gates his plastic pretty far into his mod. Oh! Right. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> but say, there's a different mod, a different way to get it. Never mind. I still, my favorite thing with the Matacraft right now is they have these construction brick TM. <laughs> oh yeah, they look like they look like Legos, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, yes. They are cool. I, I was just looking at them a minute ago. Okay, so American world <laughs> making things and stuff. We wanted to play. That's what we wanted to make more of this dielectric paste stuff. And then you can convert, and that's cool beans. All right, cool. So now we want an energizing orb. Needs some glass. Let me just get a stack of glass. I feel like we're gonna need a healthy amount of that for a bit. So we're just playing with power a little bit today. I'd like to know more about this mod because it looks like some cool stuff for sure. 
right? Um, so I need one of these and I need this. And I believe the higher, so we need a block of quartz. I can make that, ta-da. And now we can make this guy upgraded and that's the tier two version of that. And I think we have to give this power and it'll beam energy into the energizing orb to do crafting recipes. And that's where you get this stuff, right? So gold plus iron will lead to energized steel, which is, what you doing, garbage pile? A garbage pile. What are you calling a garbage pile? I wonder if those are, uh, I wonder if you can like, if fortune affects those. But yes, those get you plastic. If fortune affects them, my laser might help. Uh, yeah, it makes it so I definitely get versus random there chance. There you go, buddy. You're welcome. I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping. So Pawa has some basic wires in it for sure, I think, right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. I haven't made the Pawa book yet, but we'll get there when we need to. Uh, I think I have a pretty yeah, good idea. Yeah, you had the lost server. What's that? You had some kind of cable lost server. Yeah. It's I'm wondering what the thing. ender gates are. That's an interesting one. Which one? Ender gates. I don't know what those do. But they use energy cables and eyes of ender. So I don't know exactly what they do. They look interesting though. Oh, goodness. But there's something called called ender cell, which does not use ender gates as a recipe. So ender cell, I would imagine, would be like energy transfer typey thing, right? And ender gates maybe have something to do with that? I gotta look at the book. I gotta look at the book is what it comes down to. Is really what it comes down to. 1.4 thousand R for tick, 5 thousand R for tick. So let's just toy with these a little bit. I mean, we are, we also have, you know, energy conduits from yeah. mechanism. So like, last I just want to kind of play with it. Up to the blaze one. Yeah, that's as far as we got last time. And I played with the nuclear reactor a little bit. Is basically what happened. Yeah, and then we just like, we didn't need power. <laughs> there, there was nothing to use power on. Right. I'm hearing lots of bad guy sounds. So I think what we want to do, oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, you know what? I think it has to go on power lines. So what I could do is pop you there and you there. That should be neat. And then this guy goes here. Maybe I want to make a couple. Well, I'm going to upgrade them, right? So we'll try that. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that these guys will connect. Yeah, they will. Beautiful. And now do you have RF in you? You do. Look at that. He's storing energy. Sweet. All right. So these cables do 1.4 thousand RF a tick. And mechanisms basic tier cables, just so we can apples to apples this. Um, do 3.2. So mechanisms is technically going to be a little bit faster. Now here's a question. Will you, well, I don't know. We'll see. For now, I'm just going to mix and match the mods and then we'll come to an agreement on what we want to use. But for now, it's just, oh, that's cool kind of thing. So now you, oh no, that's not what we do. Um, now when I put you guys in there, and then don't you just like shoot at it kind of deal? I think that's about it. And you need 10,000 RF, right? Oh, hey, something happened. Wonder if there's supposed to be a laser beam happening here. Now, in fairness, they are like a block apart from each other. Right? But there's definitely no laser beam happening. Let's try it more up here-ish. We'll do this. And it has its own wrench too, so I could totally look at that. Oh, 
Automating that shouldn't be too bad, right? Yeah, I think it's just a visual bug. I bet he's not sending a client packet to say I've started. Because I thought there was some kind of laser. I think there is, yeah. Right? Isn't there normally a laser for this? So it's working, it's just not visually Failing. firing. Yeah. Which isn't the end of the world, right? Now we should be able to upgrade ah! this. And I'm guessing it would just shoot faster and therefore craft faster, right? And for that, we're going to need basic capacitor large. So two of you to two of you, and then another block of quartz, and then that should be a little bit faster now. And he has a faster I.O. Cool. So let's compare that. Is that going a little bit quicker now? Seems faster. Can't really tell. Okay, that works. Neat. I should really look at doing refined storage too, because I would love to have some refined storage action. <laughs> hey, you can snortle all you want, sir. <laughs> snortle <laughs> all you he... want, sir. I tried to help. <laughs> it's not that he doesn't want refined storage, it's that he wants to do it himself. I know. And, and, and like, the people who are watching would like to see it happen. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like it's like watching a movie and somebody skipped an hour of it and they're like here's act one now here's act seven in minutes thank you <laughs> dude i'm you know i'm just saying <laughs> but i see i understand your point yeah uh in all honesty though if you don't have it today um you're still making your own, this is true, but if you need extra drives, I'd probably will be moving over to AE, so I will have two 4K drives. Okay, that's cool. Also, I have some plastic for some reason, so I assume that's your plastic waste. I just threw it you, yeah. Oh, okay. If you want it... It was garbage can... that was in your house, so... No. <laughs> I mean, if you want it, you can have it. No, I threw it at you. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'm just making sure. Uh, I've got all these things on my to-do list to make, so now I wouldn't mind. So I'm going to upgrade you... Not you. I'm going to upgrade, upgrade you me? What? to be need more clay and another bucket of lava. I thought I had my clay. Did I put it away? I'm going to upgrade my magmator to the tier three version of it. Oh, yeah. I didn't have any... I'm still on the basic. <laughs> What's it take to do the second one? Magmator. Iron. You can do tier two at least. Well, that's basic, I think. So I'm going from oh, basic yeah, to yeah. hardened. Starter to hardened, yeah. So Is hardened will do 180 forge energy per tick, which ain't bad. Okay, no. So they all generate the same amount of power in the end. It's just how much power they... Yeah, I think it's just the per tick and their I.O. and all that stuff that gets adjusted. Yeah. Okay. So that's super cool. So for now, it's no reason to. Right. You're not in a rush to get much more power. Yeah, yeah. But I'm also, like, teching up through mechanism, so I will probably very soon have a desire for more power. Right. 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 Like, I haven't even set up ore processing yet. I've got all these ores that I haven't even smelted. It's hilarious. But that's a nice starting point for power. And, like, what I'm planning is I will start with, you know, this to get me going. But I definitely want to get into the nuclear part at some point. Because I remember liking their nuclear generator. It was cool. It was neat. And all the dry ice and stuff. Like, that was definitely awesome. So this way we've got a couple. I'm not going to use this rudimentary generator anymore. I'm going to try to go with reasonably renewable resources, right? So solar... Um, lava's like basically infinite because nether, right? Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch the the rudimentary generator I have from Ender Rift, even though it looks really cool. 
that's always one thing that like I struggle with in my mods. And charging gadgets was kind of the answer to it. But like I have all these mods that take RF, but I didn't have anything that you could use to like make RF, right? Yeah, you should be good to make dry ice. Are you doing the nuclear reactor? Oh, I just want to make it. <laughs> okay, that's concerning. Why exactly? It's like I now have dry ice. Mwahaha. It's a coolant, so like it's very cold. Um, and it'll work water. for the um, those reactor thingies. The thermal generators. I'm disappointed. I placed it in water, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Bummer. I was expecting like smoke and clouds and shaders and magic. I think it's more to cool down the nuclear reactor and for the thermoelectric dude. This is no longer useful to me. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want it. <laughs> I was expecting smoke or something, like particles, but no, there's nothing. Well, do a pull request. It's my answer to you Done. for everything you want. Is it even open source? Do you know? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, so Pat was done. The other thing I wanted to make was pocket storage units because they look cool. Yes, they are. They are very useful. Right? They're basically dank nulls. Is that right? Is that an accurate description of what they probably kind of are? To some degree, yeah. Uh, it, unlike the dank null, you can't place with them, right? If you okay. Select a block and place it. You open up it's like an inventory, so it's very much like a, a normal storage. So it's just basically portable storage. It's kind of a mix between the two, because if you hit the threshold or a limit for how many can hold, it'll start voiding. Okay. I'm going to borrow some of these dudes. Uh, you can sneak right quick to deposit into a chest, sneak left quick to chest withdrawal. That's neat. That is neat. You replant those trees when you're done. I am, Soren. Do I look like you? I replanted them, thank you. You're mining the trees I replanted. Good. I do like being able to use the mining gadget to clear trees, though. That's kind of cool. Mm hmm. Man, what is with sapling drops, huh? I'm good. I have like... I mean, I just cleared out like a bunch of trees and got like less saplings than I did. Than I would have expected. Let's just do it that way. Uh, I will say I've noticed less saplings with using your tool than I did just mining the tree with my hand. I I tried to vein miner it just to see if that was the case, and no. Yeah. Uh, star and you, probably. <laughs> probably, yeah. Unfortunate. All right, so let's check out this dude, right? Because I've been meaning to make this, like, every episode, and I just never get around to it, so it's time to make it. Right, and then that being said, what are we doing? We just so it operates like a dank null, right? Okay, that's cool. So let's make sure that if I disable void upgrade, I'm gonna go mine in my tunnel, and I'm gonna see if it goes into the pocket storage unit. I'm assuming that you've tested this one, and it does, right? It does. Yeah. Good. Actually, what's interesting is that you see the 24 cobblestone in your inventory. Mm -hmm. My expectation would be that it fills up and then goes in it, but no, it goes into that first. Okay, that's fair. It's one of the things I actually want to talk to Flanks about is like, can we actually have it so it fills up existing stacks in your inventory first? Yeah, I get where you're coming from with that, for sure. I do love that. <laughs> And when it's, so um, cool. I think when it starts voiding too, it started doing black particles, I think. So. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, unsure. Like, I, I noticed black particles the other day where I wasn't, where I was voiding, but the voiding mode on your thing was turned off. I thought it was. Okay. It was interesting. But it doesn't look like it's doing it for you, so I don't know. Hmm. I could have been just derping up and missing it. <laughs> well, I don't know. Else. At what point is it full? 255? Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, no, I, your black particle should only come if my tool's avoiding it. Right, and which one I was expecting, but I'll try. Uh, maybe it's, if it happens again, I'll note it a little more. Get it yes. Yeah, no, you you absolutely should only get black particles if my tool is doing the Yay. That is cool. I like that. I am on board <laughs> with that. And then I'm assuming, so higher tiers equal more storage, I presume, right? Yes, so more types and more of a single amount. Oh, more types too. That's cool. So I, I can hold 16 because I'm tier two. Tomas, I think, can hold 32. That's it awesome. goes. I mean, at that point, to, just put all your mining resources in there, right? Like iron, yeah. gold, and redstone, uh, and everything. Tier four goes up to sixty-four. Oh and wow! And ten, no, one million of each. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Lots of iron. <laughs> Now my question is, can the building gadget pull out of it? That is a thing. That I haven't. I could test. It does not. Tool. It would look like, but it may oh, okay. be it. So since you can't place blocks with it, I'm wondering if like it's not intended to. But it it should mining building gadget should be able to pull from inventories like that. But it may be that in this newer version of Minecraft it can't, and that's a bug. So something to test with. I'm gonna see if I can get that in my in my in my thing, and then we'll kind of go from there. Nevermore, yeah. That'd be nice. I aim to please, Soren. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so let's come back in a minute, guys. I'm going to organize my inventory, put all this stuff away. I think I need to upgrade some chests, too, while we're at it. Um, so I need to enrich this gold ore, because that's all I got. Womp womp. I totally need more gold. I very much need more gold. But yay for having at least some gold. But we totally need more storage, right? So let's get a quickie chest upgrade. But that's another reason that I wanted to get into refined storage, which I might do this episode just because that would be nice, right? And we, we, we also have drawers. We totally have drawers on the server. So yeah, I think that might be something I focus on right now. Let's look at refined storage for today's episode. Does that sound fun? I think so. And then it'll just make lives easier as we explore other mods. So let's look at that, refined storage. Uh, so we're gonna want, you know, the controller, right? So let's get a note of all the things we wanna make. Uh, so we totally want a controller. We totally want a disk drive. We totally want a crafting grid. And we will want at least some 4K drives, if not bigger. And that'll be a good start. I think that'll be a good start. Maybe some cables. All right, that shouldn't be too bad. So for a lot of that, we're going to want quartz enriched iron, which is going to be iron and quartz, but that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Let's process more iron. I was going to come back, and then I didn't. See how that works? Man, there's a lot of fluorite from mechanism in the world. It's like almost as common as redstone. So I hope it's as... I think it's used more than redstone, I hope. That's what I'm hoping at this point. Um... We also I have a lot of um, added to the one, minor, one, the six, unit that you just made. I just added that, so I'm voiding the rest. What's that? I'm just voiding most of the ones I get, just because it doesn't look that used. Yeah. Woot! Another quartz for days. And iron for days. Oh, I'm being told block placing is planned from the curse page. That's cool. I definitely like pocket storage. Um, it looks like a really nice tool for that purpose. I wonder if it's good about like shift clicking. It totally is good for shift clicking. That's cool. So I can like do that and it'll all go in there. That is awesome. Shift clicking works beautifully and that's a big win for me. So I'm not gonna do that to more, but like if I did it to like these three stacks, see how quickly it goes in? I love that. That is super useful right there. All right, so we're gonna want a bunch of quartz enriched iron as usual. Let's just get a stackish. That seems fair. Uh, I know we're gonna want some gold and some redstone and some other stuff. So like, let's put away some of these quartz doohickeys, but I'll hang on to a bit because quartz enriched iron is clearly a thing. Redstone we're gonna want, some lapis, probably some coal. Uh, definitely some gold though. Definitely gonna need some gold. And that should be about it. 
So let's get into uh, the controller. Needs a, oh right, diamonds. I also need a diamond. <laughs> I knew that. I also need a diamond. Let's put a crafting table in here. Does this thing exist? Not yet. Okay, good to know. Okay, so for you, sir, the main important thing is silicon, which can be smelted nether quartz or energized smelter nether quartz. So let's just make a stack of that. Should be cool, right? Um, and then in addition, we're going to need you, which is raw diamond. That's right, we need processor bindings in this version. It's been so long since I've done since I've done refined storage. It's been so long since I've done refined storage, right? I don't even know anymore. What are these things? Lilacs. Do we have, uh, we do have, um, do we have a growable form of string? We have, we have, um, those seeds, right? So yeah, in industrial, industrial, or not, immersive engineering has a hemp and you right. can turn that into string in this pack. Yeah. So, yeah. cool. We're good. Good deal. And what's funny is like, spider essence. Yeah. What's funny is the slime. The slime is the tricky part. I gave away we all my magma junk. cream, didn't I? I gave away all my magma cream to Tomas. Um, how much do you need? How much slime? I don't know, like, like eight-ish would be good. But I mean, if you're <laughs> already, I'm just looking at slime recipes. Mm -hmm. There's a slime essence. Ooh, ooh, actually, I might be able to make a slime seed. That would be cool. Slime tier two. And I'm assuming slime saplings are, I mean, they're in the pack. I don't know if they spawn. I haven't seen any islands. Right, neither have I. And usually, usually you see them somewhat frequently, right? There's yeah. so many magmas in the, in the end, or in the nether though, that I think I'm just gonna go down there and kill some. That seem reasonable? I'm gonna go kill some magma cream and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. So I need that, and I need a bucket of water. Who made it? Who who decided that it's three cleans per bucket? <laughs> why three? That's the worst number ever. I'm just wondering why you haven't been, put a water source in here. Shh. We're not discussing okay. that right now. It's <laughs> fine. I'm just going to get all four, because why not? What are you doing in my house? I'm just Nothing. digging a hole in my house, that's all. Just digging a hole in my house. All right, so then you, sir. I need my silicon. I'm going to have a basement at some point. You know that, right, Soren? Mm-hmm. I worry... What was wrong with you? It didn't. Right? Everybody's always like, why don't you put a roof on your house instead of a basement? And I'm like, oh. But it has a roof. It has a roof. What? Flat roof is not a roof. It's just not pretty. Like, they, they want, like, a second story is effectively what they want. Oh. oh. Instead of why a basement, like, on, why not yeah. a, like, like, why not a second story? <laughs> put an attic on your house. <laughs> right. And I'm like, but the thing is, I've got the skylights. So, like, that disrupts the skylight theme. Like, also, it's the thing that, like, yeah. I put somewhere that I don't want to see, right? Like, I put all the things down there that are, like, you know, it's and meant to be a basement like type thing. 80% of your time in the basement. <laughs> I do, in fairness, sometimes do that. You're not wrong. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. You're not wrong. That one's always it cracks me up. Usually, it's like and this is for not, so we don't have to look at it. What are you right. looking at? And, the pipes. And you could, Got it. <laughs> you could potentially keep the skylight with a second story by just <laughs> building the same nine by nine on top of it and just leaving the glass so that the light comes through. Yeah. I mean, I know what you're saying. I know. I'm not disagreeing with you. you. I'm just saying. I'm not disagreeing with either of you. You're correct. <laughs> You're 110 yeah. percent correct. <laughs> right now, I, I completely agree with all of what you're saying. Oh, 
I'm running out of processor bindings fast. I need more slime. That's going to have to be a later thing, though. We're just going to get up and running. And then you need glowstone. That's right. What's it called? Binding agent? Yeah. There was another thing I was going to make. Oh, yeah. There's coagulated blood. <laughs> Sounds right up your alley. Not really, but I mean, it's probably cheaper than time. <laughs> that does work. You're right. I'm I'm not saying that's going to be the greatest for either of us, but I mean, if I, I can find care. that slime chunk properly, then I can actually get the slime. Got one, but... Man. There's a way to make... Okay, so then crafting grid. Well, you yeah, can't put the slime as... <laughs> Oh, hey, if you get pneumatic craft, you can uh, use milk and green dye to get four slime. Yeah, and if you do botania, you can do it with cactus. Yeah, but everyone does botania. How many people do pneumatic craft? When was the last time you did botania? When was the last time we played together? When was the last time you did botania? That was the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's alone. I rarely do it because I don't find that as entertaining for me. Yeah, I like Batania. I think it's a great mod. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think it's fine. Like, I know a lot of people actually like it, and that's pretty fine. It's one of those, like, it's between the magic tech side. I just, I don't like the um, do, 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 the do. feedback to the player for some things where everything was designed for no UI, but also, like, the pool is not filled to where it is until you kind of update it or right-click it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he doesn't that, have that any feels packets a bit or something. Disconnected for me. A lot right. of times. Yeah, he, he oh, avoided look. packets, that's why. Yeah. Though, to be fair, we did find the AE dupe bug when we used Botania. It wasn't Botania's fault at all, it was just the fact that we were trying to use the soul sand duping. Yeah. And we found the... What was it? The Ender Collector from Extra Utilities was picking up before it was sending out, so it just gave us infinite stuff. Nice. That was on our uh, Infinity Evolve Skyblock. Yeah. And then I started doing concrete in that one again because it was funny. <laughs> and then some more of you. And that's pretty cool. Not See, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I like that. Ta-da! Power up and running. Booyah! Now for 4K storage units, right? So we're gonna want 4K storage parts. So I made enough of this to hopefully get, what am I short on here? Quartz enriched iron, noob, more silicon is gonna be needed. We should have more quartz. Didn't I have more quartz? I did have more quartz. I knew I did. And we should have enough for at least one more. Let's just do one more of these, and then we can upgrade them to three of those. What am I missing for this? More basic processors times three. Ha oh, ha I'm short one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's a rip. Yeah, that's a rip. At least we can get the three basic storages in there. And now we're just going to need more slime balls, right, um, to get more stuffs. So if I want more refined storage to happen, we're going to want a few more slime balls if we can. So let's see. If I really want to have more of you, it's just all the different slime balls and coagulated blood, which are kind of your only options. Yeah. Pink slime. And then this guy is a casting table with rotten flesh, makes 50 millibuckets, and we need 250. So it's five rotten flesh equals a coagulated blood with that in a casting table. So you need a seared smeltery. So Tinker's definitely has a lot of things in it. Boy, do I miss the days yeah. where JEI was sorted in some semblance of a manner. 
<laughs> Look up at Tinkers and tell me how unsorted this mess is. I I know I, <laughs> it's all over like, the hey, place. Tinkers update. It's like, well, it doesn't have. Oh, it does have. Oh, <laughs> it's like discovery. It's a it's a thing. <laughs> it's that one in AE. I think were the two. What was the other one? There was another mod. It was like, oh yeah, yeah it was AE. Look at the uh, cables. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea in what way, shape, or form to like put this in the proper order. Like how. I don't. Is it the order in which you register your stuff? No, because usually you register blocks. No, because the cables items. are all separate. I have no idea what they do. Yeah, like normally, I, I have no idea how that works. Because not that maybe alphabetical is like no green, okay, yellow, nope, okay, nope, definitely Spatial. not alphabetical. What? <laughs> I don't think that's <laughs> no. a. J, I don't know if that's a oh. JEI thing or like or like a registry order thing. Well, I mean, everything else seems in order, right? Does it? Well, funny is all the facades. Yeah, like if you look at refined storage, go. that's in order. So I feel like refined storage is doing something that applied energistics is not with the way it registers its stuff. Because it's all its items first and then all its blocks. And then a few more items at the end. Right? And then I'm um, kind of can, like, I'm not sure how facades are working here. Right. Maybe it's one item. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's see here. I need to kill no, more okay, slimes we'll because I need more slimes, but. Yeah, we're going to come back in a minute, guys. I'm going to kill more All right, guys, we are back, and I've got the things that I need. So, uh, in order to make you, we're going to need a bunch more of you. So, I don't know if it's a mod that's doing it or if it's... I don't think it's vanilla, right? But you can put magma slimes in a cauldron, just right-click it, and it'll turn them into regular slimes. I don't know what's doing that, but something is, and that's cool. Actually, I should hang on to you guys still. Oh, that's inspirations. Oh, see, today I learned. Okay, so that means we want one more of these to smelt up in here. And then we can get our, and I, what I should do is I should extract these guys. Can't I do that? Is there a way to? Yep, shift right click, still exists, sweet. Because. Overall, you get 4K for this, but three of these turn into a 16K, right? So it's more efficient to do that because that's, you know, 12K all of a sudden became 16K, right? And then we can do this, and that's going to be a lot of item storage now, and that's beautiful, right? So what I think I'll do then is now that we've got that, we should probably make a few more of these. And I didn't even, like, attempt to guess if I did the right amount or not. Probably didn't. I didn't even try to math that out. But what we would want, right, would be I've got three 1Ks, right? So we're going to want to upgrade you to a 4K. And then we're going to want two more. So we're going to want six of these. We are missing quartz enriched iron. We are missing glass, of all things. Right, and then this will be two 16Ks, so that should really hold me over for a while, right? Would be my thought. Two more, perfect. Two more of you, and then upgrade you, and that is cool, right? And that is two 16Ks, perfection. Beautiful. And then, boom, it's refined storage time. That is cool. I like that. Very yes. Very yes. All right. Sweet. All right, time to do the thing. We'll be back in a minute once I put everything away. All right, guys, we are back, and I've just finished doing my refined storage movement thingy. So that works. Woot! So let's make sure that we are in normal display mode, sorting descending, quantity normal. We want JDI synchronized, but not auto-selected. What in the, what was that? Oh, that was the, the dialogue box closing. I'm like, why, why did I see a big thing happen over on the side of the screen? Nope, that's fine. Hey, how cool is that? We've got refined storage. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm very excited about that. Nice. Dude, I mean, I just got to give props, right? Like, refined storage is just such, like, a clean mod. Everything about it is just clean, right? Like, it really, really is, yeah. Right? Like, it's just clean i don't know how to describe it better than that but it's it's clean 
it's it's one of those things that it feels like uh, English should have more words like German does, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay, so let's come back in a minute, guys. All right, guys. Well, with uh, our refined storage system in place, I'm going to call that wrapping up point. So for now, though, 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let's come back next time and look into automating crafting with refined storage. They'll totally see some of that happening. Uh, I'll probably clear out a basement between now and then. Maybe even, like, make the house a little bit nicer. Um, but no promises. Uh, I don't think chisel's ported yet, so no. Oh, look, there's chicken chunk. Okay, chicken chunk loaders. That's cool. So if we need a chunk loader, that's another option. Cool beans. All right, Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time for some automation. Uh, and then obviously teching up. I really want to check out Mechanism because it's got this whole like antimatter thing going on. Uh, and I'm very interested to see what you do with it. It looks like there's a bunch of things that can happen with it. So that looks cool. Um, not to mention there's like tons of other stuff. It's also got like a whole uh, armor suit that looks really interesting like these things and then all these upgrades for the suit so yeah definitely looking forward to it all right that was my sign off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy